Unfair Advantage by Robert Kiyosaki. Like all other books by Robert Kiyosaki, Unfair Advantage is for people who want to let go of past limitations and move into a brand new world of wealth, opportunity, and abundance. The author reveals that today, there are trillions of dollars looking for a home. If you want to belong to this world of abundance, you should have some unfair advantages. In this book, Robert Kiyosaki shares what they are and explains in great detail how to make use of them. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you find it useful. We thank you kindly. We will also leave a link in the description below where you can listen to the audio version of the book for free. Unfair Advantage Number 1 Knowledge The author firmly believes that in the world of fake money, knowledge is real money. For those who are financially educated, prepared, flexible, and adaptable, the next years will be the best time of times. According to him, if you respect only traditional education, good grades, and good school, you will value a high-paying job. If you are an entrepreneur, you will value how many high-paying jobs you could create. With the World Wide Web, anyone living anywhere can gain enormous wealth in the world economy. All they have to do is adopt new ideas, become serious about their financial education, and take action. Kiyosaki claims that people who don't know what to do with their money mindlessly send it to complete strangers. In his opinion, most markets, real estate, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds are Ponzi schemes. Ponzi scheme is an investment fraud where early investors are paid with money coming in from new investors who are generally lured in with a promise of high returns. If new investors stop sending their money in the hopes of higher returns, the scheme collapses. The author affirms that the entire global financial system is a government-sponsored Ponzi scheme. It works as long as we keep sending our money to people who we hope are trustworthy. The global Ponzi scheme works for those with financial education and is tragic for those without financial education. It doesn't make sense to work hard and have someone or the government take your money from you. As he advises, before you make your money, you need to protect it. The good thing about building a business and working on your investments is that you could apply what you learned immediately. Taking classes on advertising, gold, options trading, writing sales letters, foreign exchange trading, creative financing, foreclosures, asset protection is a good idea. The real life financial education is a long-term process of classes, seminars, study, reading, successes, failures, good times, bad times, crooks, con men, liars, cheats, mentors, bad partners, and great partners. When the knowledge increases, the confidence increases, risk goes down, and the size of investments increases. Kiyosaki points out three important lessons. One, start small, dream big. His rule was to look at 100 properties before buying one. Most investments are bad, so you need to invest time looking for those great deals. Give yourself at least 5 to 10 years to learn and gain from experience. You will make mistakes, so make small mistakes, learn, and keep dreaming big. 2. Look for cash flow. The more investments you have, the more cash flow you generate. 3. Have people send money to you. Don't send your money to the government via taxes, to the bank via debt on your house, car, credit cards, school loans, to oil companies, power companies, and food producers via inflation. Invest in investments that require people to send you money, good economy or bad. The world works only if people send other people money. It's called cash flow. Unfair advantage number two, taxes. There are three types of taxes for the following three types of income. 1. Earned income, highest taxed income. 
Two, portfolio income, second highest taxed income. Three, passive income, lowest taxed income, possibly zero. Taxes are unfair, claims Kiyosaki. Some people can earn more and pay less, even zero taxes on millions in earnings. Taxes make them rich because they know how to have the government send money to them. Financial knowledge on taxes is an unfair advantage. If you wonder what to do if you want to earn more and pay less in taxes legally, Kiyosaki's answer is change the quadrant. Go to B or I quadrant or add a quadrant. Then use other people's money. Tax rules are written for specific quadrants, not professions. The tax law rewards those people who invest directly in the economy. The government wants us to invest in economy to create jobs, housing, and opportunities for others. But as the author emphasizes, more important than taxes is your happiness with the quadrant you are in. So changing the quadrant just for taxes is not a good idea. You can remain in the E and S quadrant, but learn to be an investor in the I quadrant. He thinks that the easiest way to start to change quadrants is by changing your friends. It doesn't mean you should dump your friends. It means you should meet new people and expand your world if you want to change your life. The money you save in taxes can be used to invest and build your wealth. Unfair advantage number three: debt. Robert Kiyosaki reveals that debt makes the world go round. If we stop borrowing. The economy stops running because today all money is debt. A debt crisis is solved by creating more debt. That is why interest rates for borrowers are low and interest rates for savers are also low. The financial world loves debtors and punishes savers by taxing interest on savings at the highest taxable rate as earned income. The banking system of the world works on a system known as the fractional reserve system. For every dollar you save, the bank can lend out a multiple of your dollars. For example, if you save one dollar with a fractional reserve of ten, the banker can lend out ten dollars. Like magic, your one becomes ten, which the banker lends out at a high interest rates, especially on credit cards. This is how the banks make money from debtors and lose money from savers, and why bankers love debtors. The bigger, the better. Magically printing money out of thin air every time you deposit your savings, the fractional reserve system of banking destroys the purchasing power of your savings. The author recommends learning to invest this debt. His advice is to use debt as acquired assets instead of liabilities. Since debt can be lethal. He recommends you start small. Getting into debt is easy. Managing debt is hard. People are in trouble with debt when they use it to buy liabilities. The rich use debt to buy assets. Debt is leverage. You can use bank debt to make you rich and use bank debt to make others rich. The unfair advantage is the knowledge to use debt to acquire assets, assets that produce cash flow for an infinite return. Unfair advantage number four: risk. People want to invest but hate risk. They want to play safe. The author explains that by avoiding risk, people lead lives of extreme risk. With a lot of examples, Kiyosaki illustrates that terms such as job security, saving money, safe investments, fair share, mutual fund, diversified portfolio. Debt-free are actually risky. Claiming that the opposite of risk is control, he recommends reducing risk by learning to take control, and precisely one, learn to sell, control income. Two, learn to invest in real estate, control debt. Three, learn technical investing, control markets. Unfair advantage number five, compensation. Kiyosaki points out three laws of compensation. One, reciprocity. Give and you shall receive. The labor union's concept of wanting to work less and be paid more makes everyone poorer. 
The focus should be on giving more to receive more. If you cheat people, they will give back to you what you gave them. 2. Learn to give more. Learn how to earn money, but not only for yourself and your family. Learn how to produce more for more people. When a person is successful in serving more people, taxes and debt also swing in their favor. 3. Leverage the power of compounding financial education. The power of education is unleashed after you leave school. So take a class, seminar, or read a book and begin applying your education. Over time, as your education compounds, so do your returns. You can earn more and more with less and less effort. When financial intelligence increases, you start to meet smarter people. When you meet smarter people, you are invited into investments that are called insider investments. These are investments that are so good that don't need to be advertised. In the book Unfair Advantage, readers can find new ideas and reinforce others. Thanks to the abundance of real life examples, the concepts are easy to understand and implement. The author emphasizes that becoming an entrepreneur has become easier in recent times because of the technology. We are entering a new era of unlimited abundance and opportunity where technology decreases financial risk, reduces prices, and opens up worldwide markets. Thank you for watching, and if you find this video helpful, please share it with us in the comment section below. We appreciate your feedback. Tell us in the comments what is your favorite book. Can't get enough of reading? Find us on Facebook at facebook.com readandgrow1 and also on Twitter at twitter.com readandgrow1.